What I want us to do this morning, today and uh, next Sunday is uh, spend a little time talking about uh, the importance of walking with wisdom. If you want to put it very succinctly in a very simple statement, we could put it like this. We could say wisdom is the ability to apply knowledge. Look at verse 7 and uh, you know what what verse 7 tells us, it says, wisdom is the principal thing. The Message Bible says, above all and before all. Put this at the top of your lists. We can also state in wisdom like this. Wisdom is the combination of insight, understanding, and prudence. Are you all with me so far? So insight means you are able to go past the surface and look at what's happening underneath things. You're able to see the hidden meaning, the root cause. So wisdom is a combination of insight and understanding. Your ability to comprehend the situation. So there are the ABCs, which are the basics. And there are also the XYZs, the more complex thing. Now when you understand something... You have the ability to make the XYZ sound like the ABC. And then prudence. Prudence is skill, intelligence, uh, the ability to determine what is the right thing to do. So where does wisdom come from? Proverbs tells us very clearly, first of all, you know, God is the source of wisdom. That's why you know, the Bible tells us, if, you, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask. Because he gives. Secondly, the Proverbs also teaches us here that we, res we receive wisdom from one another. He who walks with wise men will be wise. Provided we are with, in the right company. With the right people. And third, of course, we receive wisdom through training, learning, and life experiences. But we must also maintain our wisdom walk in all seasons of life. Whether we are in times of great success or whether we go through times of great distress, we must learn to maintain our wisdom. Now, don't let good times or difficult times cause you to do foolish things. I just felt that these five statements capture for us the essence. Of the book of Proverbs. So here are those five statements. We'll spend a few moments on that. Number one. Always and in all things. Honor the Lord. Now we know this. You know this. The scripture that says. The fear of the Lord. Is the beginning of. Wisdom. It's simply. An holy awe. Reverence. That says. I want to do what's right. And pleasing. Before the Lord. Number two. Always be listening. Always be learning. It doesn't matter if, you know, you, uh, you know, you've got a lot of experience or you've read a lot or whatever. But you're still in that mode. Your stance is, I'm going to listen. I'm going to learn. Third statement. Don't take what is not yours. No, don't be lazy. Don't take bribes. Don't use false weights and measures. Don't encroach on another's property. All of these instructions are simply this. Don't take what is not yours. Number four. Don't keep what you should be giving away. Many times God puts into your hands. In order so that it can be released through you. So that somebody else can be blessed and the blessing can be multiplied back to you. And it's so important that you don't keep what you should be giving away. Number five, always and all things walk in humility. Humility is simply you and me saying, you know, I am dependent. I am dependent on God. I am dependent on others. And because of that, I'm willing to let the other person go first. This is it. If you and I can just remember these simple things, you know, we can walk with wisdom.